Hi, I'm Pete, and this is a tutorial for the Hasbro Atomics. This is a moving bead puzzle. It's uh, functionally identical to the vintage Parker Brothers The Orb, so this tutorial will also apply uh, to, to that puzzle. Uh, so the uh, Atomics has uh, four rings of beads. It has a sm two smaller rings, which have eight beads each, and then the larger rings have uh, 20 beads each. Uh, it has a, just really one axis, if you just count the, the, that turn, um, and um, the, the first turn turns the track into a continuous uh, loop of beads. The second turn uh, turns the track into two loops of beads, and I won't be using that uh, for this tutorial. And then subsequent turns um, just reverse that continuous and etc. Um, the other one that we will be using for the tutorial though is a 180 degree turn which just um, takes half of each um, circle and just puts it uh, up against the other uh, circle. Uh, we'll be using that one quite a bit. So uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and scramble this and uh, then I'm going to uh, do the tutorial. The tutorial only has three steps. Uh, there's many different ways of solving this, but I think that uh, this three-step method, I think is, uh, at least for me, is probably the easiest to explain and demonstrate. All right, well, let's uh, let's get started with the scramble. So what I like to do for the scramble, I just have fun with it, turn it into the continuous loop and just kind of move the beads. You'll notice I use my, my back um, index finger here to kind of lock the beads or to move them. Uh, that's really the bead mover <laughs> for the most part. Um, it's just kind of hidden in the back. Um, that's the, the downside to having such loose beads on this puzzle compared to the, the Parker uh, the Orb is that the, uh, the beads will sometimes getting the alignment uh, correct is, is a little harder. And of course, I think the smaller puzzle also kind of adds to that. But anyway, I mean, it's still, it's a good puzzle and, um, you know, it, it works really well. I'm, I'm happy with it. So no, no problem at all. There you'll see. Okay. I just, I just, after telling you that I'm not going to do that, I just did it. I, that's the, I inadvertently went into the, 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 where you have the two, uh, chains, lines, tracks, two tracks, kind of like a baseball. Um, but uh, anyway, that's just for the scramble. So yeah, I'm just trying to get a nice scramble, kind of break things up a little bit here. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. So one of the kind of things about this kind of puzzle is uh, that makes it challenging is that when you're if you're putting beads in um, in in one direction, the, the beads are also moving in the other direction, the other beads moving. So that's one of the things that this the solve kind of will take into account here. Um, you know, it, it, I, okay, how is our, how is our scramble one? I'm just trying to, what I'm doing is I'm just looking, I see I have a bead here. Um, actually, I'm gonna, yeah, let's, let's just put it at the back. I'm gonna put these two reds on either side of the split. Then I'm going to find a purple here. I'm going to do the 180 degree turn and move that and in here. And then when I undo it, what's happened is I put the purple between those two reds. Okay, that's just kind of the way to, way to split it up. And I'll do the same thing. I've got, I'm, I'm going to put a yellow between those two purples. 180 degree turn, put it in, and now we have a yellow between them. So that, that's it. Um, yeah, I think I'm just kind of do a bit of that. Yeah, just a lot of fun. Okay, well, here we go. So uh, the first step uh, that I want to do here is uh, I want to solve the top uh, small ring. In fact, the first two steps is to solve the top and the bottom small ring. Um, now, remember what the color was on top here is just light green. And we have quite a few of them. And what I want to do is move as many of these light greens uh, up to this ring as possible and get them in a chain. 
Um, ideally, I'd have eight of them, all eight of them lined up. So um, I'm just going to take this one here for now, and I'll just I'll put it up in this. Just kind of put it beside this one. There we go. Make sure no more get back down there. Okay, that's not too bad. And I see we have one up there. That's okay. That can stay up there. So now that I have these, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for if I have a, a group of them in this, this top ring. But I don't. I just have individuals. So I'll just put one here. And... Um, yeah, that, that'll be good. I want to put it on the left side of the of the split. And then I'm just going to take um, whatever I have here. I have two, and I'm going to do a 180-degree turn so that they're all in a row. And then I'm going to turn this ring. Now, remember, this only affects this ring with the 180-degree turn. So then I'm going to undo that. And so I've, I've put three in a row here. And I'm just going to keep adding to that as best I can. There we go. Okay. And another one here. Okay. One more. This isn't too bad. Okay. So now there's no more in this uh, large ring or the small ring, but we do have a, a separate one over here. It'd be nice if we could get it there. Um, so, th so the way the way we do that, this is going to work out. It sometimes it be hard. So if I put this right here and I put any piece, and it doesn't matter any bead in. When I move the the new bead there, it'll move whatever's here out. Now we're going to use that later for the third step, but in this case we'll use it to get this bead put in the this uh, lower ring. And the nice thing is that it just worked out that these are not going to be affected. So I'm just going to put anything, it doesn't matter, I'll put a red in there. Okay, I put it in there, and then I undo that, and you'll see that somewhere, there it is, there's the bead we wanted. And I'm just going to go ahead and add it to our big long chain here. All right. Nice. So now I have seven beads, and then the eighth one is already there. So for the first step, to finish the first step, I'm just going to put all these beads on the right side of the split in this upper ring. Um, i got to figure out now, where does this go? I think that this is what we want. We're going to put this right here to the left, and then it, it'll add to those. So let's turn it up. We're going to go one one move. Now, when we have this position, this curves, the, the four beads here and the four beads here, those are the ones that are eventually, if when we undo it, are going to be the top ring. So if I just move all of these beads now until, until they're both filled up, so that one has the four beads, and that one has the four beads. Now, when I undo that move, when I undo the turn, um, we'll have the top ring done. Okay, and now, yeah, because I've kind of jostled stuff around, we just have to kind of jostle it. And look at that. So now we have the top ring is done, and um, that's great. That's step one. Now, we were able to do that because nothing else was solved. So when we do the second ring, we're just going to have to be a little, little careful, and I'll show you how we do that, that we, that we don't mess this up. So what I'm going to do is now is turn the puzzle 180 degrees. There we go. So that the original top ring is on the bottom. And now we're going to work on this, which is the gold. And really, I'm going to use the same technique. Use 180 degree turns. Don't won't affect this at all as long as we don't jostle it. Um, we have the same issue here that we had before, which is that we don't have uh, any of these. Um, so I think, um, yeah, we'll we'll just go ahead and, and use the same technique. Um, so I'm just going to add here. I think that'll be the the way to do it. So we'll take this, turn it 180 degrees. There. Now just. As I'm doing this, remember that whatever is here, when I when I put something back there, 
whatever's here is going to end up in the lower ring. Um, it doesn't matter at this point, but we're going to take advantage of that in a sec. There we go. Got that one. And we'll put that in. Nice. Okay, so we've, we're all out of yellow ones here. We have one out there, which is good, but we have two right here. So what I want to do now is I want to get these two down here so I can put them where they belong on the end of that chain. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put anything in there. It doesn't matter. I'm going to put this red here. As long as this is positioned on the left side up here, this will end up down here. And I'll show you. We do that. Put the red in, and look at that. I have a, a yellow, and I can use that yellow, and I can add it to the end of the end of the chain. I just moved it back, and we'll put that yellow in there. And so I'll, I'll do that for this last one up here. I'm just going to put a purple over here. Okay, and I got the yellow, and now I just move this this chain back so that the the, the end of it is on the left over here, and I'll move this back. Move this into place. All right, fantastic. So now I have seven of these, and there's one up there. Now, I notice we, we haven't done any, any harm to this bottom here, but I do want to show you something, though. Um, when, we, uh, when we do put these up here, we can't just shove all seven of these into this mix okay that's not going to work for us and i'll show you why okay um let's uh let's just try i'm just going to try putting um one in okay so all i did here was i put one in okay and then when i gotta bring it back here we put one in and look at what happened we moved this by one so we, we wrecked the thing that we already did so that strategy isn't going to work for us okay i'm just going to take that one back okay so i undid what i just did and look at that we're back okay so this gives us our strategy that we need to use what we need to do is every time we put a bead up here in this direction we have to put another bead in a second move in the other direction. So let's try this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put four of these in. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and it, I don't know how easy it is to see on the video, but we put four in and we already had one, so that's five. So now I'm gonna undo this. Okay, so we've got five in there now. And that's totally messed up, right? But as long as we don't move anything, it'll be fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of these. And so we put four in. So I have to put four in here. We only have three because there was already one there. Um, so that's, that creates a little bit of a, a situation, but that's okay. We'll, we'll fix it. So now I have to think. Um, I've got these on the left side, and when I bring this down, what I want is these bad ones to get pushed out. So I think that they have to be here, and they'll get pushed out that way. Okay. So remember, I put four in, so I have to put four of these in. Okay. Now that is going to cause a problem, and we'll but but we'll we'll deal with it. So I'm going to put four of these in, in in the other direction. So. <laughs> we just got to make sure it, there we go. That's one, two, three. And then and we, we got to put a, a wrong one in because we need four. We can't just put three in. Okay, but th it'll all work out. I'll show you how this works. Okay, so that's done. So now we're going to um, we'll just do that. Okay, there we go. So now we've, we've got seven of them in. That one got shoved out, but look at that. This is still in good, good shape. So we're doing the right thing here. So now we have a pretty, this is a pretty common thing. We have one good bead here, one bad bead here, 
And you would think that all we need to do is just take that, shove it in, that one pops out and we're done. But if we did that, we'd end up messing this up. So we can't do that. So what we have to do instead is something that's kind of counterintuitive. We got to put a bad bead in first. Yeah, yeah, we put a bad bead in. Let's put a purple bead in. So, and we have to set it up so that this bad bead gets uh, the bad color. I don't want to call it a bad bead. This bead's fine. It's just the wrong color. So we'll, we'll we put it on the right side of this so that when we put uh, this um, other bead in, it'll get shoved out. So let's let's try that. I'm gonna go up and we'll put it in. So we, we're putting one wrong color bead in and we've knocked one wrong color bead out. It just, it doesn't make sense at first, but I assure you this is gonna work out. It's gonna, it's very, very cool. So we, we, we now have a bad bead and this is messed up. But remember I said that we have to do it in pairs. And we have a good bead. Now it's gotten it's gotten knocked down to the, the bottom uh, layer, but that's fine. We'll, we'll fix that. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to fix it now. So I have to be careful I don't move that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and just put this back in with the 180 degree move. That's not going to affect any other part of the puzzle. And this bead is still where it, it was. We can't move that. Okay, so now we have the, the good bead that we want to put in. And all we need to do is put it here. I have to arrange this so that the bad bead gets popped out this way. And then we'll be done. Watch this. This is, this is the cool part. So now I'm going to put the good bead in as the second of the, the pair of moves, right? We put the bad bead in. Now we put the good bead in. I'm going to undo it. Now the, the small circle is done. And if we look here, look at that. That one's all... Um, it's all solved. That one's solved. Isn't that fantastic? So remember that for the second step, we have to, whatever we put in here, we then have to, we, we can, we can move some stuff up, put it in, put it back into the circle configuration, put some stuff over here and then put it down and then move it in in the opposite direction and whatever we do. So if we put four in here, we put four in there, that'll work. If we put two in, two and one, one. And it is possible to just do one at a time with this. That's why I'm saying that there's many different ways to solve this puzzle. Um, I'm just showing one way. But the, the cool thing about this is that that was the hard part. That second step by far is the hardest part because the next part is just a matter of, I'm gonna show you here. So um, I'm gonna turn things back around. I just I just like to keep this as the top, so this is a green. Uh, we also had the red on this circle and purple were down here. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take red beads from, from the um, bottom big circle and put them in the top. But I wanna make sure that if I'm, if I'm putting red beads uh, back here, that I have some purple beads on this side of the split. So for example, I have two here, so I'm gonna put two there, right? Make sure I have two. So I'm gonna do the 180 degree turn. We'll put these two in, 180 degree turn, and what's happened is that we got two purples there, okay? And that's, that's just the way this is gonna work. So I have a single here, I have a single there, Gonna, and it doesn't matter what's on the other side up here because it it just you're just adding B you're putting one bead you're replacing um, these beads with whatever you put up there so uh, yeah it's, that's just the way it's uh, gonna work out for so I have a string of three I actually have a string of four here so I'll just put put that so I'm gonna put these three beads up the, this is a bit of magic here because I'm going to just solve the upper circle. That's all I'm doing. And um, you'll see what happens. It's very cool. So I have a single and a single. Okay. And you see we're, we're, not, we're not affecting anything else. And I've got two there. So I just have to do them one at a time. There's one purple. And there's the other purple. And look at that. So 
by completing the upper ring all one color, it automatically completed the lower ring. And the Hasbro Atomics is solved. Um, yeah, I just, I hope you like that uh, solution. There's lots of other ways to do it. Um, you can do it one at a time. You could move the pieces uh, top and bottom one at a time. Lots of different ways to, to do this. Um, it's a fun puzzle. It's quite portable and pocketable. So yeah, it's just one of the one of the better uh, puzzles I've gotten, uh, um, moving bead puzzles I've gotten in a while. And all of this applies to the Parker Brothers, the orb. You can use the same technique. So uh, that's it for this video. Uh, as always, I do appreciate your comments, your questions, your suggestions. Uh, are there any other moving bead puzzles you'd like to see? Do let me know down in the comments or any other puzzles you'd like to see uh, on the channel. Um, I always appreciate uh, viewer uh, suggestions and feedback. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.